I hope we can all live as long and happy as she did. It's when I was in my, I went to live with them when I was 14, and that's when I got to know her and I've stuck with her ever since. Yeah, Ruth and I are good pals. And I just love her, she's a great aunt. I was thinking this morning, it's December 7th, she was, uh, she was only 33 on, uh, on the Pearl Harbor Day. You don't even remember Pearl Harbor. Well, I've heard about it. Yeah. She's seen a lot, I guess, eh? So that's a very memorable time, and of course Nanny would be there, you know, all the time, and she'd be teaching us things. And... We're really proud of you, Nanny. You made it to 100, and I know Grampy would be proud of you, too. We all miss him, and, and uh, all the best, Nanny. She's been a, a very uh, important person in the Ferguson family and uh, the Deck family, too. I wish all the best for you and many more. Yeah, it's a fantastic time. Yeah, she's a great woman. She's the only one in our family ever. And all our relatives so far back has never made a hundred years. She's the only one. 54 years I've been married to her son, but we had a lot of great memories. Yeah, she was a good, a good mother-in-law. Yeah, she was. It's an amazing feat and she's a beautiful woman and I'm really honored to be a part of this family and I absolutely love her and admire her. She always had the right answer. She seemed to know what was right and wrong and she taught us um, those principles at an early age and if we didn't, uh, we were in trouble. The boys used to drive us crazy but uh, no, as a family we got along just great. All we have now in our life is good memories of the whole family as a unit. I think it's wonderful. And she looks great. I mean, she just, she's still the same old Nan. She's funny too, you know. She'll get back to where, you know, she starts to remember stuff and then she'll kind of go off. But she's, I think it's just wonderful. And I'm so happy to be here. She was great with all the grandkids, absolutely loved them. And that was really important to her. And that was, it was great growing up with almost a second set of parents, so it was great. I can't believe it. She can't either. Like, we, can, we just can't believe that she's lived this long. You know? And she's probably going to live longer, like, you know, you know health-wise, their body, she's in pretty good shape. And then I spent the night with her, and we were playing the piano together and everything. That's when I had my most fun with her. And that was one of my memories with Nanny. Just the happy times at the, at the cottage it was something I never dreamed of getting in on. So, no, I've got a lot of happiness between Ruth and Ernie. Wherever you went, she was always willing to help you out and really, really good to you. And always happy to see you and always special treats. No matter how many grandkids you had, you always felt like there was one special treat she had set aside for you, even though you were one of 40 some. We had a good family life, as I say, we've always been a family, and uh, very nice, very nice. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ruth. So happy birthday, Nanny. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs>